what's up what's up what's up what's up everybody how you guys are doing how are you guys doing so guys as you guys could tell let me go ahead and show you guys i am vlogging with my gopro today my first time vlogging with a gopro it feels amazing guys how i could accomplish this little goal um so basically i'm gonna show you guys today look let me show you guys something so yesterday we picked up all this right these are my brand new two combos that if you guys are interested in looking at them i'll go ahead and post some pictures of them in a bit this is my 13 by 13 girl castle with the pink crown this is my other castle um there goes my blowers and my and my tables and chairs there go some more tables and chairs right here this is all i have left inside my storage because everything went out this past weekend so yeah guys look at that only one table right here probably like 12 chairs right there some more tables right there so yeah as you guys can tell right now i'm warming up my truck I'm about to go do some more pickups on a Monday. Today is November 14th, I think it is. Um, so, yeah, guys. We have that. So, yeah, we have that right there. Little kids' tables that I borrowed from my boy Stuff for Funds. Just to fulfill order that I had to. A little kids' table. But, uh, yeah. Feels amazing, guys. Feels amazing. Um, all this strong support that you guys are showing me. I know I haven't done no videos on YouTube. Just for a simple fact, I have a lot of stuff going on, guys. I have a lot of legal stuff going on. Uh, it's a long story man but it's just crazy damn the sun's hitting me right in my face but yeah guys come along with me and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how we go pick up tables and chairs and i'll probably bring you guys along with me the whole time today let's go so yeah guys so we're on our way right now as you guys could tell i have you guys mounted to right there but for some reason it fell but now i have you guys on my on, on my hand so yeah Right here in the beautiful city of Los Angeles, more known as South Central LA. I'm gonna go ahead and do this little pickup real quick. What am I? I'm on 59th and um, Holmes right now. So I was lying to you. Oh, it's on 61st. There you go. I think it's on 61st and um. And home is where I'm going. Yeah, it sounds familiar. 61st. 61st Street and Homes. It's crazy how down this street, guys, there's a lot of liquor stores. Just a crap load of liquor stores. I'm like, damn. Do you really want to mess up everybody's liver out here, man? If you guys don't know where we're at, now you guys know where we're at. Easy boys. I have a few buddies from right there. Yes, sir, I right am gauge. And we are arriving at our location already. It's only by that market right in the corner. So we're gonna go take our tools
So guys, as you guys can tell, we picked up 50 tables, 50 chairs and 4 tables as one of our orders. So let's go on to the next order. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So guys, that was one, one order down. Just 4 tables and 50 chairs. 4 tables and 50 chairs. This was an $80 order right here. $80 order. It was on a Sunday. So they are picking up on a Monday. Beautiful, beautiful LA weather. Nice, sunny. And it's not even bike breaking, guys. It's easy, man. You don't even need a big box truck. You don't need nothing. You don't even need a, one of those big old vans. If you have a pickup truck, you could do everything from your pickup truck, man. Super easy, guys. But yeah, so right now we're going to head over to the house. Offload this real quick. Because I don't want it flying all over the place. So we're going to offload this. And after when we offload this, we're going to go pick up another order right there by my house. And then after I have a 11 by 11. Well, I have an 11 by 11 rented out as well. That one's up the street from my house. So it's not even like five minutes away. So I have two orders within five of not even like a two mile radius you could say um but yeah like i'm telling you guys if you guys are interested in getting into a side hustle like this man it's it's not hard trust me it's not hard it's just time consuming guys and sometimes you just have to deal with um headaches from customers like uh, that they step on your on, on your tables and chairs they put cake or sometimes they're like why why is it why is your price higher than other people you just be like hey man you have a choice you have a you, you just tell them like this you have a choice you either want to rent from us or you want to rent from somebody else. We're not. Who's needing the food? Are you needing of me or my name of you? You know, as simple as that. Because there's some customers I'll be like, oh, but they're giving it for 60 bucks over there at that other rental stuff on spot, but they um they lagged it on me. Well, I mean, you're paying 60 bucks for a jumper. I will lag it on you too. Because I mean somebody else gonna offer me 80, 90 bucks for a regular castle jumper. But hey, I'm nobody to, you know, go ahead and criticize people. I don't even know how their budget is or this and that so it's just a headache sometimes when you're out here hustling trying to have the cleanest units the cleanest inventory and you know they're just over here trying to bash you with low prices like nah i'd rather i'd rather keep my stuff at, at my house and i'd rather rent it out to somebody else maybe like a late call or a last minute order which is going to double my, my my pricing basically um but yeah guys right now we're going to go back home like i'm telling you guys we're right now in the Florence District, big badass Florence District. You could say, um, sad man. I have a lot of a, a lot of friends from right here, from this area too. Some of them, you know, some of them just became street crackheads, man. And it's sad when I run into them, especially when I'm with my girl, and my kids. They're looking at me like, Junior, like, what's up, dude? And like, what's up, dog? Hey, you don't got a dollar or two you can spare? I'm like, yeah, my boy. I give them a dollar or two or sometimes five bucks if I have five bucks on me. I try not to I try not to give them so much cash. Or um you know I know I know where the cash is gonna go straight to a to a drug dealer or whatever, but you know it's just sad because I grew up with them so I'm like damn we basically they they used to eat at, at my house because my mom the thing about me, my mom didn't let me go out with to other people's houses. She'll either have them come to my house to play with me or we wouldn't play at all. So um yeah, so it's just sad how these people used to come and eat at our house, this and that, and um, now I look at them and they're like drug, drug addicts, they're all skinny, they're all with dirty clothes, this and that, you know? But, um, you know, everybody in life has choices, like they say, peer pressure is crazy, but sometimes I think it's just people having weak minds and having some friends that they act like they're friends and um, they're late and they literally don't give a crap about you, man. Damn, they just dismantled a whole Chevy Tahoe right there. God, took up all the type of body parts off that bastard. But yeah, either way, guys, like I'm telling you guys, no matter, no matter how popular you are, no matter how much fame you get, no matter this and that, guys, don't ever change on the people that you grew up with. Don't ever change on the people that helped you be where you where you're at right now. You know, because it's it sucks. I know, I know a few buddies out there. I don't want to mention no names. When they first started into this business, guys, they were telling lambeculos, right? Oh, hey, bud. Um, can you please let me know where you get your unit from? Can you please come over here? It'll be an honor, bro. It'll be an honor, bro. 
reaching out to other people that I that I kicked it with in my group that we got along pretty good. Once they got a little bit of fame or a little want to be, you know, these little jumpers that they're getting here and there, they stop talking to people, they stop hitting them up, they start doing a bunch of crap. And it's sad, guys, because those are the people that helped you grow. Those are the people that helped you, you know, be where you're at. Those are people that helped you shout you out, that give you advice, and this and that, you know? So it's, it's sad. Me, my circle that I could say that I'm tight with is my boy Stop For Funds, which is Jonathan and his brothers. Um, what's his brother's name again? Uh, I have it. I, I, be, I be calling him so much stuff, like baby squirrel and stuff. Just because sometimes he be waking up, he's looking like he'd be like a little squirrel. Like, with his hair spiked up. What's his name on? Ah, uh, I don't know what's your name up on. But I know Jonathan for sure from Stop For Funds. That's somebody I, I could rely on and count on. Um, Julio, that's a, definitely a person that I could count on. Even though sometimes Julio be sometimes sending me damn clients and they don't want to pay. Or they cancel last minute, but it's okay. I understand, my boy. Nah, I mess with you, Julio. But yeah, man. That's that's my tight circles. It, it's only a three three people. Well, two people. And right now, I'm starting to get keep it cool with one of my boys. He's out there in um, Downey or Lakewood or something like that. Um, Durant Fiestas or Durant's Party Rentals. There you go, Durant's Party Rentals. He used to be SoCal Inflatables, but... He transitioned his, his business into a uh, event slash decoration and all this. I'm telling you, you could evolve right right now. I'm doing just rentals. Who knows? Maybe I'll I will evolve into going into linens, drapery, this and that. Because the sky's the limit inside this business, guys. The sky's the limit. But let me tell you guys, you do need a lot of money. You do need to save a lot of money. You do need to invest a lot of money if you want to go into those type of you know things that they're gonna offer as well. What? There's channel 11 right here too, just stop that thing. I should've been like, Aah! But yeah, guys, man. Hey, it's okay, not the mile need coffee in the morning, man. I'm usually a coffee person, but my girl be like, man, you're hyper with them or without coffee. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I love waking up early. I know it's a struggle sometimes, but I know I got me and my family. No matter if sometimes we're dead broke, I always manage to find a way to put money in our pockets, you know, try to, because in this business, you could either give your stuff cheap or give yourself or give your stuff a uh, low. But when you give cheap, guys, I'm telling you, everything's going to fall off. But man, thankfully, I am blessed like that. Thankfully, God has blessed me in many different ways that I, like, like my mom tells me, you're not, you're, like she, like she says, I'm not that much book smart. But I am street smart, so I know how to get my money. I know how to get this, and I know how to get that. Not saying that I do anything illegally or something. Again, the winter is freaking hot. Um, but I'm just saying, like, I, I, know, I know where to go and where to do this and where to do that just to put some money in my pocket, thankfully. Right now, my motive is to buy a damn truck. I've been hanging on my boy El Cholo, El Cholo Party Rentals. I think he's out there in San Diego or something like that. Somewhere over there in San Diego. I think on that side. El Cholo Party Rentals. That's a cool guy right there. El Cholazo right there, my boys. But that, that, that's his party rental name, guys. El Cholo Party Rentals. I don't know why, but hey, he's probably a Cholo. He probably whooped my ass for saying this. But yeah, guys, you know, I talked to him. I, I, I like the, I think it's a GMC Sierra that he has. Beautiful Sierra, man. But uh, I asked him, like, hey man, how much are your payments? He's like, 900 bucks. Be like just a few rentals will do it. I'm like, sheesh, better be renting motherfuckers every day because god damn, time's playing, man. But yeah, I'm right here by my kid's school, real quick. I'm trying to see if I see my son, but I don't see him. That's that's another blessing thing from us. We live right by my kid's school, so just like literally like 35 steps, and we're already at the, at the school from my house, so it's cool. But guys, we're already arriving at the house. I'm gonna go ahead and offload this, and we're gonna get I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring guys along with me. Maybe you guys will see my wife and my other son, Josiah. Um, but just the simple fact that I have to go offload this because it is it was a lot of tables and a lot of chairs. So let's go. So guys, as you guys could tell, I already cleaned up this 13 by 13 Princess Castle with the glitter crown. This crown is nice, guys. This is a 13 by 13. Sorry, I couldn't record my. I think my. Um, I didn't charge my uh, GoPro. And right here, as you guys can tell, we have a ladder right here and a ladder over there. So basically what that does, 
basically stands for the to clean basically the tarps how we clean them how we pressure wash them but um yeah so this is what i'm doing right now my backyard is all a mess as you guys could tell this is all the stuff that we picked up this this weekend all the stuff that we delivered and all the stuff so right here we have four tables right here we have i don't know how many chairs more tables back there 11 by 11 a 13 by 13 another 11 by 11 my two combos more chairs right here that are dirty we have to go clean again and clean these tarps so this is the first jumper that we went ahead and cleaned up so let me put up the other one right now for you guys wait up So guys, my wife is cleaning the inside of the jumper and I'm gonna clean the outside of the jumper. Now that she's done cleaning inside, <laughs> say hi. This is my son, Jaysaya. Say hi, Sarah. Say like, hi, hi, hi. He's out here helping too. Look at him, look at him. Whoa. <laughs> give me a kissy. Give me a kissy for the camera. Give me a kissy for the camera. Kissy. How about you gonna give me a kissy? Mm. <laughs> Say hi. <gasps> oh, yeah, daddy, that's the camera. Wow, wow, wow. Whoa. Okay, yeah, come on. Let's go. Let's go to the jumper. Come on, let's go to the jumper.
What's up guys everybody so um good news i guess um hey everything works out for a reason guys so right now i just received that stimulus or whatever it is the golden relief i don't know but they gave me 700 dollars so with those 700 dollars that we just received guys we're gonna go ahead and go take them out deposit them into my regular bank account because i got bills to pay basically because i'm not famous you know, I'm not getting that famous people money. Just a regular broke guy from LA trying to make it out. But um, yeah, I know you guys see my son right there jumping around in the video. It's funny because I see him and I don't know if it's just me, but I see him that he really likes the jumpers. I don't know, maybe because he's little, maybe that's because it's a kid thing, but I see him because when I'm lifting up the jumpers, trying to clean them, he's trying to lift them up too and trying to clean them, trying to roll, roll them over and do whatever I'm doing. So it's funny. It's funny seeing a little version of yourself doing that, you know? But um, yeah, guys, like as, as I was telling you guys in the videos before, um, don't be afraid to join this business, guys, basically. Um, anything's poss possible in this... Um, damn, I'm hot inside this business. Look at how many gatorades I have, man. And I don't even drink them all. Look at them. Three damn gatorades. And I don't even drink it. That's when I go out to do deliveries. I just grab them just to grab them. But yeah, I man, it's hot in here. Um, yeah, I'm, like I was telling you guys, don't be afraid to make that next move, guys, to, you know, enter this party rental business. Because trust me, the sky's the limit. And trust me, guys, sometimes you might have slow days. Sometimes you might have good days, bad days. But that's in every, in every job out here, man. That's in every job. No matter what you do, whatever side hustle you try to do, um, you're always going to have good days and you're going to have bad days. But um, just keep pushing, guys. Just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. I don't know. Somebody just texted me. Cool, look at my logo. Damn. It says, hey, just a heads up. I sent my sister-in-law your contact info information. Information. Her name is Caroline Davis. Cool. Awesome. It's cool having referrals like that, guys. But um, what was I telling you guys? Yeah, I get sidetracked now. Now that I have a phone and I, I can record myself, you know, now I get sidetracked. But yeah, guys, um, right now my motive, to be honest, right now my motive to is to do YouTube vlogs for you guys. Take you guys out more because I know I be telling you guys I'm going to take you guys out. But trust me, with all this happening right now, all this negativity coming into my life, it's like, damn, should I keep doing YouTube? Should I not keep doing YouTube? Sometimes I'll be like, I think to myself and I'm like, hey, you know something? I want this life, I want to live a good life, but it's like, I don't know if I'm giving out too much information, I don't know, I really don't know what it is, guys, it, it's it's crazy, man, sometimes I think to myself, like, why would people want to see me eating crap if I've helped out a lot of people, you know, financially and just emotionally, I could say, but um, yeah, man, it's crazy, you know, I do rent to a lot of um, celebrities. Well, not celebrities. I oh, can say celebrities. I do rent out to a few celebrities, um, like YouTubers, influencers. I do rent out to a lot of people, but I try to keep it uh, kind of private because I don't want to go ahead and be, you know, vlogging them. But my girls like you should because you know they vlog you, so you should vlog them. But sometimes when they vlog me, I just ask them not to put me on, um, put me on, on YouTube just because sometimes I look all oh, bummy, man. I look bummy just for a simple fact. Yeah, I am working, and they and they tell me, bro, but you're working. I'm like, yeah, but you know, everybody's gonna see me all around the world, you know, especially that they have like millions of followers, thousands, millions of followers, billions of followers. It's like, eh, do I really want to expose myself like that? But eh, it's cool though. Sometimes they put me on. Sometimes they they erase my face, or they just cut where I'm gonna pop up at or whatever. But you guys might see my videos, or my, not my videos, my um my units and some people some influencers that you guys might follow um vlogs but um yeah guys so maybe tomorrow i'll show you guys a little bit more but um right now i'm just gonna go ahead and cut this video down short right now um if you guys know what i'm going through right now you guys you know i have a lot of tension in my head and i hate it because every time i get stressed i don't know why but on my shoulders look at this guy 
on my shoulders i tend to get um stiff the back of my neck all the i don't know what the hell i have right here but uh, but all this stuff tend, gets like tense and i can't sleep over just because thinking like man what am i doing wrong or man who is this person who's who's basically snitching on me man and giving all, all this negative you know information that i'm this that i'm that that i'm doing that that i'm doing this like all i'm doing man is just doing youtube videos all i'm doing is informing you guys of what i do every day all i'm doing is trying to give you guys information on joining this party rental business that's all i'm trying to do man i'm not trying to go ahead and start drumming with anybody because that's already you know it, that's old already man for myself you know i'm i'm a 30 year old man already man and i gotta think different you know but sometimes i don't even know who to talk to and i go ahead and just put up the sometimes i say okay i'm gonna go ahead and do a vlog and i start talking to the vlog i start talking to the camera but some of the videos i just don't put them up because i think they're too personal man but right now i feel like i need to speak to you guys and um basically uh you know express how i feel because i tell my wife and sometimes i'll be like damn like you know it's just crazy and sometimes i i, I just feel stressed there's been points guys that i swear to god man i just be like you know sometimes i'm gonna I'm just gonna end it here. I'm just gonna, you know, and it, and I don't know why I have those freaking thoughts. If if I know I'm a good person, man, but it's just sometimes you get that stress. You just don't know what to do. I'll be like, man, forget this. It's just it's just nonsense, you know. When it gets to a point when they have people checking you, trying to check what are you doing, trying to look. It's funny. I'm gonna tell you guys something. There's been a suspicious vehicle. You know when you live in a neighborhood. You know the cars that come in and you know the cars that go out. You know the cars that belong there and you know the cars that do not belong there, you know? You guys know familiar faces, you guys, man, and I'm good at reading reading people, man. That's one thing about me is like, I, I can sense something's going on and I know there's somebody right here to my left, right here at the Starbucks, that just keeps looking at me and I hate that shit. I can see him from the corner of my eye just looking at me talking. But um, I hate it, man. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. But yeah, guys, look, I'm going to tell you guys. So there's been their suspicious vehicle, right? He sometimes drives in front of my house and if there's not a parking, he stops in the corner. But it's really funny how he's he's driving kind of fast and he slows down once he's about to hit my house and just drives by slow. I'm all like, dude, like what the hell? Like, you know? Sometimes I feel like coming out like, man, like, whoa, whoa. like what's the deal, man? Like, what the hell are you doing? The like, funny thing, last time I was leaving, and this fool was parked in the corner with his windows down with some shades on Weddle. He was a, a white boy. And once he see me, he went back. I was like, dude, I seen you already. So I, I went around the block. I came back. Sure enough, he was still there. I'm like, what the? What? And then after I left and I went to go do my stuff and he wasn't there. So I was like, was he probably following me? So again, me, I leave 20 minutes after I leave and the guy's parked right there again. So I'm sure they're just trying, like, you know, to control what am I doing, if I'm really moving things, like, you know, slanging, doing this, but there's none of that going down right here where I'm at. I have, I'm 100% sure. People ask, hey, fool, are you a, are you a, a, a dealer or D de dealer or whatever it is? Nah, man, all I deal is jumpers. I mean, jumpers and Frenchies. That's what I deal, you know, guys? And, um, yeah, I just, like, I'm telling you guys, sorry if I'm, you guys are like, this fool's getting too personal. But I'm just trying to explain to you guys that what's going on in my life. I don't know who to talk to. Big shout out to my boy. What's his name? Oh, him and his family watch me. I sold my little dog to him. My last dog. My la James. I don't know. But he's a trucker, man. Cool cat. We met him. I think he lives over there in East LA Whittier. Cool cat, man. We sold him my, my last blue uh, French Bulldog. What was his name? Kong. We sold him Kong. But good thing that Kong went to an amazing home. Thankfully, he went to an amazing home dude's been watching my videos tambien it's, it's cool you know it's, it's cool when you see people who support you who rock with you and who buy from you you know support small businesses guys i do the same thing sometimes, you know, sometimes I, I support people that sell candies or menudo or pozole you know i support you know sometimes i might not not support as much because i am sensitive for my stomach some things are made with some you know like right now what's what's killing me is the acid reflux or reflux you can say that's the thing that's killing my stomach man. i could eat something and jesus christ i'm dying at night that what is it called a bird i need to drink anti-acids and all this type of crazy stuff but um 
Yeah, guys, I'm right here down Tweedy Boulevard in the city of Southgate. I love coming to Southgate, man. Southgate has a bunch of cool stuff. They have McDonald's, Wendy's, they have Yoshinoya, they have Wamba, they have Subways, they have um, all types of stuff, man. I love coming to Subway. I love coming to Subway. I love coming to Tweedy. Down Tweedy, aka Southgate, man. They have a bunch of stuff out here. I come and get my hair cut right here down Tweedy, you know? But um, yeah, guys, with that being said, I'll, I'll cut this video short. Um, I know it was a long video, guys, but hey, at least you guys got some content, and at least we went ahead. I show you guys that I'm alive and I'm not in jail yet, you know? You know, fingers crossed that I, that doesn't happen, that they don't try to find me or they don't try to take me in for some bull crap, because I know it's going to happen sooner or later. But hopefully it doesn't, man. You know, I like my freedom. I try to act like a good boy, but um, whatever happens, happens, guys. But I'll catch you guys on the next video, guys.